It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Seattle Seahawks and the New Orleans Saints. And it comes your way next. The first open back in 1975. There's a look inside the iconic Caesars Superdome in downtown New Orleans. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Seattle Seahawks taking on the New Orleans Saints. From up top next to Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And folks, we were already excited for this game. And then before the contest, you and I are down on the field outside the white lines. Yes, we were following the rules. We were following the rules. And a ball comes over our direction, but we can't see it. Somebody yells heads up. And instinctively, you turn around and you snare it one-handed with your off left hand. So now we're really ready for football. No gloves either. No gloves. No gloves. Not like what the guys are wearing playing the game now. But wasn't that a whole lot better than that time we were down there? And I got the coffee spilled on me when I got nailed by the punt returner. That happened to the Vikings, right? Yes, a much better job of being heads up this time. Thank you for that. Thank you for the notice. Jason Myers to get this one started. And we are underway from the Superdome. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. They're led out by their quarterback out of Fresno State, Derek Carr. It's been fun to watch his development through the years. And right now what you see is a very confident quarterback who has a strong sense of self totally understands the offense and knows how to get the ball to his playmakers on the run. Carr going to throw right away. To the right side and complete to Thomas. The game's first play produces six yards. Brings up second down. Now Carr. have the first down. Carr can be in a lot of ways. The scramble there, a perfect example as he gets the first. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit. And he gets a small gain on the play. On first and ten, here's Carr. Targeting Thomas on the out route, making the catch. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 12 yards there, good for a Saints first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Throwing on first down is Carr. And that one complete downfield to Johnson. Touchdown, New Orleans! Juwan Johnson, 53 yards. And the Saints will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. Charles, that was a heck of a play. It truly was because when he made that catch, he had to shake through some people, right? So that play, to me, a highlight film that should be accompanied by bass music, right? <laughs> I mean, boom, 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 and he finds his way to the end zone. Terrific play. The point after, good by Groupie. And it's now a 7-0 game. So that drive, four plays. And it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. Defense! 
And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So here come the Seahawks now for their first drive. And they're led out by their mobile quarterback out of West Virginia. It's Geno Smith. As I remember back in 2013 when he was drafted out of West Virginia, he was coming off a of back-to-back 4,000-yard seasons for the Mountaineers. Hadn't seen as much game time in recent years, but at one point, a capable starter in the NFL. Now Smith and the Seahawks going to come up first and 10 at their own 26. Geno now to throw. That one almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there. It'll be second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Now they'll run. It's Ken Walker. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Now a third and six. Now Gino. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot. And they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Back to throw, Smith. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And Metcalf going to have the Seahawks first down as he'll get this down inside the 40. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Throwing is Smith. Throw out wide to Walker. So give him two yards there on the completion, and it'll be second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Seahawk football here to start quarter number two. Here's a second and eight as they've got it as we resume action. On second down, it's Walker. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. Ten yards and a Seattle first down. Well, how many times do we say in this game is speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick, and shifty can make moves make people miss but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down that's some of the benefits of that speed not just under a heavy rush and down he goes tyron matthew normally known for the pass coverage this time a sack well free safety blitz that can be a gamble but it proves fruitful there yeah you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass and when he comes at the quarterback, he'd better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. That's caught over the middle by Fant. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. They'll come up facing third and five. Throwing now is Geno. And he is caught, and 
stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Walker will take this into the end zone for a Seahawk touchdown. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up. Meaning, when you get on a guy, you just stay right there, and each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Jason Myers now for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it was Ken Walker finishing things off with a touchdown run. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. From his end zone, here's Rashid Shaheed. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Here's Kamara off the draw. He'll be tackled shy of the 35. The power move there couldn't buy him much space. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground honed in on it and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. So on fourth down, on is Lou Headley to punt for New Orleans. And back deep is DJ Dallas. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. And the Seahawks offense going to get one final possession in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. Now Smith. Short throw to Disley. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. The result only four yards there on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven our score. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. 
This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. Dallas now to return it from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. Here comes the Seahawks offensive unit. They'll have it first to begin the third. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles, so as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one, and we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the Pee Wee level. They love to submit it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand-new, shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Second and nine now from the 21. Here's Smith. A quick target here, complete to Metcalf. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Now Gino on first down. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Play action. It's Smith. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's not locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Smith throwing again. Left side complete to lock it. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. They should put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Here's third and a few inches. Here's Smith. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 36. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Up the middle they run. It's Walker. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. From the 29, here's second and three. They'll fake it. Now Smith. Catch is made by Metcalf. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. 
A really nice gain of 25 yards. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Here's Walker. And he's across the chalk into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Ken Walker with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Seahawks have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Now Myers for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive, 80 yards, nine plays. And it was Kenneth Walker finishing things off with a touchdown run. touchdown here's Myers to boot it away and he returns this to the 22 now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half well, Charles you and I said an intermission feels like we're set up for a good second half well the other side scored and now it's up to them to answer how do they respond here with their first drive of the second half well, bottom line is they just saw the ball go in the end zone against their defense, and they saw what good offense looks like. They believe they've got a good offense as well. Run the best plays you've got to the top performers you have and try to move that ball down the field for an answering score. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Ten yards, good for the Saints first down. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate, and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play, so we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's the Saints who hold the football, but they're trailing as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Staying on the ground on first with Kamara. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay. I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. On second down, here's Carr. Thomas has got it, complete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Ten yards, good for the Saints, first down. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there, and for the offense, they're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for him here the entire second half. Now a pass hauled in downfield. Touchdown, New Orleans! Jerron Johnson, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Saints are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? And, you know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listen to history class. <laughs> and you, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is is we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. The 
Well, this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And they no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. Now Smith and the Seahawks going to come up first and 10 at their own 26. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Throwing the out route and he connects with Fant. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. I like what I'm seeing from them here. A tie game in the fourth quarter. They understand the situation. They don't need to be in any rush. Go ahead and huddle up and run your offense. That last completion put them in a nice position to take the lead in this game. The Smiths throw into the hands of Fan. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. From the 50, it's Smith. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Well, it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Here's first and ten. Here's Smith. Setting up the screen here. This is Walker. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. Up the middle, here's Walker. And he'll go down at the 28. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's first down. Left side, he finds Smith and Jigba. Now we get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as it comes with a minute 15 left to go in the second half. Try again here, second and ten. Straight ahead, Walker. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Again, it's Walker. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. 
Now, what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance at three in the lead, so how worried are you about the six? You're not very worried about it if you're confident in your kicker. And if you got a kicker who can put it through the post, you feel really good about trying to bleed that clock down. In an ideal scenario, your kicker puts it through the post as the clock hits zeros. On second down, a run with Dallas. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. And I believe the referee's been buzzed. Yeah, they want to take another look at this call, and it's certainly a big one here late in a tight game. The thing that they'll be looking at is a spot of the football, and uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going, but just trying to get the right sight line to the football, that's not always easy. We'll see what they decide here. After review of the play... So the officials and the folks in New York got a second look at this one, and the call is going to be overturned. Now first and goal. On the counter, it's Walker. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. When you try to create space for your running back, the first thought is how physical is the offensive line. Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they outleveraged them and won the battle. So now this one will rest on the right foot of Jason Myers. This to almost certainly win the football game. And his kick is good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. And I tell you, when it comes to needing a field goal in closing seconds, pressure situation, there's something to be said for having a veteran kicker trot out there. Agreed. It's so nice to have someone you can rely on, someone who you know has done it before. And this guy's as cool as they come, isn't he? Jason Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. But a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. One final try now for Carr. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort... That was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry.